Former President of Guyana, the late Janet Jagan, was on Thursday evening remembered for her exemplary contributions to the Guyanese society by way of a ceremony held at the Chedi Jagan Research Center. President Dr. Mohamed Erfanali lauded Mrs. Jagan as a fighter for the restoration of democracy to Guyana. The ceremony was hosted to commemorate what would have been Mrs. Jagan's 102nd birth anniversary. Janet Jagan's name is etched in our country's history. Her achievements cannot be erased. She was part of the historic struggle for independence. She was in the political vanguard in our country's epic campaign for the restoration of democracy and later for its consolidation after 1992. Chief among the contributions attributed to Mrs. Jagan was her key role in the creation of policies which aided in the social and economic upliftment of the working class and especially that of women. Janet Jagan was a constant and consistent agitator for women's rights. One year after arriving in Guyana, she took up the challenge in support of women's rights. She linked the struggle for universal adult suffrage to the rights of women, since at that time, the majority of women were disenfranchised from voting because of poverty considerations. For Janet, this was not only about the right to vote, but also about empowering women politically. As I have said before, she helped to pilot and lent her support to legislation which secured betterment for women. Underlining a number of legislative actions taken by the late president, such as the reduction of work hours for store workers and the establishment of homes for working class families, Dr. Ali noted that President Jagan played a crucial role in giving women a voice. Janet Jagan expanded our understanding of women's rights. She saw women's rights as going beyond something that is enacted in law and the Constitution. For her, women's rights were not paper rights, but must have social and economic dimensions. 